Hello and welcome to another fantastic uh, unboxing and right here we got the Chromecast Audio which it's basically the brother of the new Chromecast so what it does is basically it casts audio to speakers instead of video to a TV also it's new and improved but if you are an audiophile and you love music and you want an amazing audio experience pick up the Chromecast audio and uh, yeah let's go unbox this thing so right here got a little separation tab just gonna pull that oh that's satisfying um, yeah and then it's just a clamshell so right here should pull apart yeah ooh ooh quality fold <laughs> sorry um, oh let me show you the outside so this basically says what it does that's sort of how you hook it up that's showing what you can do with the, the whole thing. So, inside, gives a bit more information than the other one did. So, of course, the packaging is different, and they're sort of different, but, you know, again, sort of similar. These are the main apps it works with. Basically saying how to get the whole thing started, how to hook it up. Um, you know, I might show you that in a little bit. So, um, as you can see, it's a clamshell design, which is different from that, but, yeah, it's different packaging. Let's lift, lift this thing up. Okay, there you go. That's what it looks like. That looks nice. So, the one for the TV basically um, has a connected one that sort of loops around and it basically magnetically connects right there. But this one, it has a separate audio cord, which um, instead of having it built in is, you know, you know, not connected to it, but you can connect it and then connect it to the speaker right there. And then, yeah, so that's how you hook it up to the speakers. So, I made this portion a little longer than it needed to be, but all all that else is in the box is just a little charging cord. You know, nothing nothing major. So, let's take a look at the body design of this. As you can see, it has sort of a vinyl feel to that, if you can see it, and which, you know, really fits with the fact that this is for audio. And it opts out the word Chrome for just a regular black-on-black -black Chrome logo, which in my words works just as well. And on the side, it has sort of a matte plastic with um, small literature going around the sides, sort of reminiscent of vinyl. But uh, this matte plastic sort of continues up all the way to here, where it uh, meets up with this um, sort of smooth plastic. But it has different textures, which is nice, which to me is very important. So, yeah, that's that's the main body parts. And then right there, you got where this... Uh, their weird lime green audio cord puts in right there and then this connects to a set of speakers so that's nice but what I'm confused about is why they chose this color for it which not a big concern if it does its purpose it's mostly behind the scenes so not a big issue for me other than that um, next to the all the way on the other side is where the cord plugs in and you get the power to it and right there's a little reset button and adjacent to that is a LED indicator for power and other stuff like that so here we're gonna compare the two of them so you can pretty much tell that these two have very different body designs this one is a basically a puck design play some desk hockey with it but um yeah in all seriousness this one very circular disc puck and this is the old one which definitely has a different design it's hard to really categorize this in a certain shape but as you can tell it had the input built into it which I mean the new one does too but I mean the audio one doesn't other than that uh, this one the LED indicator is right there as you can see and the plug-in cords right down there and the reset buttons right there and also this thing is more of a gloss a glossy feel and look to the sides well this one just continues this sort of uh, matte plastic all the way up to the front where it is glossy but it incorporates different textures like that sort of vinyl record texture right there and of course the chrome logo in the middle those are some pretty major uh, changes and also for the regular um, TV one of this this one only went up to 720p and I'm pretty sure the new one goes all the way up to 1020p, so 
that is a big difference right there. So let's start off, basically, you hook up, if it has one connected, you hook it up straight into there. Or if it doesn't and it just has a port, you got this beautiful banana yellow cord to go from here to your speaker. But, you know, since this one has one included, we're just going to do that. So let's take a look at the setup. You can see it works straight from the regular Chromecast app. And all you do is click right there, setup. Then you go to setup. Then it'll search for it. it may, this may take a while, but um, what it's doing is it's cycling, trying to connect to its own network, which it uses for whatever reason. And then you get to this. It'll say to test the audio to make sure it's working. And all you do is say play audio. Let's see, will it work? I'm just going to press that. As you can see, it worked. And I can press, I heard it. And now here's where you can name it. I'm just going to name it test. So yeah, from there, that's good. And all that, enable guest mode and all that. Do setup, then I'm just going to connect it to my Wi-Fi real quick. So there you see, you basically select your network, enter in your password, and do done. There you go. It'll do the connecting process, which is connecting that to your Wi-Fi. I got it working. And I want to show you guys a quick demo. So basically it connects just like a regular Chromecast. See so it says test, connect, then I'm just going to play some of my music. And there you go. You can see it works perfectly fine. And you can change the volume. But as you can see, this is pretty loud and this is pretty low. Here I just want to give you guys a little quick audio test of uh, what this can do. Thanks for watching my video about the new Chromecast audio. Now we can add this thing to the whole pile over here. Where do you think we should put it? I don't want to triple stack anything quite yet. Um, what the titles to show. Ooh, this is difficult. Um, let's just put it here. Let's just put it right there. There we go. That's good, right? So, as you can see, we got the whole setup all set up. And, um, yeah. So, if you like the video, leave a comment. Um, if you like my videos, uh, subscribe, support me, so you can uh, see all my videos and stuff, yeah. Um, also, I just, uh, I'm not sure if you know about the new, um, the new uh, Minecraft Story Edition, or Story Mode, whatever, um, is now out. And I just got it for my computer, so, if you want to watch, if you want me to put out videos of me playing that, tell me in the comment section. Um, also... Yeah, we got a bunch of videos in the works and just coming out with stuff. Leave a comment, like it if you want, subscribe if you love it. Thanks for watching.